How are you? Doing good. How are yes. you? Where you from? From the United States. Oh, California. Obama. Obama. <laughs> to do fun? Wrong president, man. Yes. Um, how much is the city tour? How long is the city tour? About three hours or four hours. Up to you. You what? Your time. Oh, I don't want three hours, man. Two. Two hours. But it's my first day in Bangkok. Oh, full body massage. Everything. Turkish bath massage. Okay. Good afternoon from another beautiful day here in Bangkok, Thailand. Now today, we're actually about to embark on a pretty sick adventure because we are purposely gonna get ourselves involved in one of the oldest but yet most common scams here in Thailand. Now today, as I mentioned, I'm in Bangkok, Thailand and Bangkok is home to quite a bit of scams. However, I must be honest, as someone that comes to Bangkok all the time, I pretty much never really encounter them unless I'm walking around these same areas that are known for these type of scams, such as Sukhumvit Road, Khao San Road, anywhere around the Grand Palace. Those are the areas where you're typically gonna run into the scams where everybody's telling you that the temple's closed today um, or that the Grand Palace is closed today. Those kind of scams happen in the touristic areas just like anywhere else in the world. But recently I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys saying, Chris, can you show us the Tuk Tuk scam? And I thought about it real hard. Like, what scam are they talking about? And I'm like, oh yeah, duh. The 40 bot Tuk Tuk scam where they offer you, you know, a city tour around in a Tuk Tuk. Uh, they pretty much target people that have never been to Thailand before. So today, for the sake of the video, we're gonna pretend we've never been here before. First things first, I gotta grab. It's about two minutes away. It's gonna be pulling on up and then we're gonna head to Khao San Road because if we gotta get scammed, well, we gotta go where the scammers be hanging out. So, not saying that every Tuk Tuk driver is a bad Tuk Tuk driver, but there's a lot of people on the hustle, on the grind out there. And at the moment that you say it's your first time in Thailand, they tell you, welcome to Bangkok. Let me take you around and uh, give you a nice tour. So. We'll be waiting for a grab, we'll jump on, and then we'll make our way towards Khao San Road. Sawadee Ka for Chris. So yeah, we're literally about a six minute ride from Khao San Road, but yeah, Khao San Road, a place that's known for, you know, low budget backpackers. That's where I hung out my very first time coming to Thailand. You find a lot of really good hostels. It's a nice vibe, but you know, it's not one of those places that you hang out at all the time, especially once you you know, you've been in Bangkok for a while. It's one of the streets I actually tend to to avoid. But lately, I've been playing tour guide with a bunch of people that have never been to Bangkok before. So I've been hanging out there quite often. But yeah, it's one of those places you should experience, but it's also one of those places you shouldn't spend all of your time in. All right, we're gonna weave through a little bit of traffic and I'll see you guys on Khao San Road. The streets are active today too. It's Friday and things are just starting to warm up. We're approaching Khao San Road now, but since we're at a red light, let me just talk to you guys about something that a lot of you that probably have never been to Bangkok probably don't realize. Now, prior to my first time visiting Bangkok, I thought that everybody pretty much got around on a tuk-tuk. And although the tuk-tuk is like the old school form of public transportation in Thailand, it's not really used by locals all that often anymore. I mean, every once in a while you do see locals in, um, you know, outside of the tourist zones, using it to get their food for their street food stalls, brought to their, uh, what, well, to wherever they're working or whatnot. But nowadays it's actually more so just used for tourists. So keep that in mind. Every time you typically get into a tuk-tuk ride, it's gonna cost you a lot more than a lot of the other forms of transportation in the city. So like I said, when somebody comes up to you, um, like they will now, once you start walking down Khao San Road, um, a lot of people are going to start coming up to you and they're going to offer you rides around the city for 10 bots or 40 bots. Something ridiculous. You always got to keep that in mind that if it sounds too good to be true anywhere in the world, it's probably too good to be true. All right, we're about to hop off here shortly and I need to find something to cover up this microphone. Then I'll tune back in. I love this area of the city though. Reminds me of my first time in Thailand 
every time, every time I come back. It's so beautiful. The natural leaf, you got a Domino's pizza over here. All the street markets are out. So I just made it a few streets down from Kaosan Road and before we actually, hopefully before we get approached by a tuk-tuk, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about my story before we jump on in to the tuk-tuk. So basically, my very first day arriving to Kaosan Road, I was walking down these streets and my hostel was literally a few streets down. It's called Mad Monkey. I believe it's still around. This was back in 2017. So I'm walking the streets, just got to Thailand, know nothing about Thailand except you know, tuk-tuks and, you know, parties. That's pretty much it. I didn't really know much. So as soon as I turned the corner, a tuk-tuk driver comes up to me and says, hey, bro, city tour for 40 baht. And in my head, I had just changed money for the first time in the country. And I was like, 40 baht for a full city tour for 30 minutes? Bro, that is ridiculous. That's so cheap, like a dollar. And I was like, damn, Thailand's ridiculously cheap. And let me just tell you guys, Thailand is pretty affordable for most of us that come from Western countries, but it's, you know, it's still hard to find things for 40 bots. So keep in mind, every time you jump into a taxi, the automatically meter starting price is 40 bots. So it's hard to get a lot for 40 bots. However, um, when you first arrive, you're like, oh man, sick deal. So, you know, I jumped on and what happened? He took me to a temple. He took me to a suit shop. He took me to a souvenir shop. Then he took me to another temple. And all in all, you know, it took, about an hour and a half of my time but I actually did get to see the city quite a bit and we actually were quite cool with the tuk-tuk guy he kind of explained to us like man spend like 10 minutes in each shop then I get commission and then no pressure you just give me whatever you want at the end well we ended up doing the full loop at the end we didn't it wasn't a whatever you it wasn't a you give them whatever you want we gave them like 300 baht which was still like 12 US dollars or 10 US dollars at the time and Man, it was a great experience, and I think everybody should do it when in Thailand. So even if you know about it, man, participate if you got some time to kill. It could be fun. All right, let's see if we can get, you know, offered a tour by any tuk-tuk driver. Wow, the tuk-tuks in Thailand are awesome. I love them, and I definitely think it's an experience for everybody. Look, the orange man just pulled up, selling oranges out the back of the, the space cab. It's called, never heard of that truck before. Oh, they just got them in the Tuk Tuk. Hello, sir, how are you? Yes, yeah, sir, how are you? Doing good, how are yes. you? Where are you from? From the United States, oh, California. Obama. Obama. <laughs> to do fun? Wrong president, man. Yes. Um, how much is the city tour? 100 baht. 100 baht? Yes. That's it, for how long? Up, up, up to you. How long is the city tour? About three hours or four hours, up to you, you are, your time. Oh, I don't want three hours, man. Two. Two hours? Yes. No, no, no. Let's do let's do like half hour city tour. Half hour. Half hour. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, thank you. 100 bucks. Okay, where we go for city tour? Where are we going for city tour? Okay, hold on. Can you he, he, he show you? He know. Okay, all right. All right, thank you. All right, so here we are. We're going on a city tour. Where do we go first, sir? The Standing Buddha, okay? It's very busy today, huh? Very hot. Okay, so first stop on the tour is the Standing Buddha. So yeah, great way to get around the city and of course you gotta experience um, Thailand in a tuk-tuk. So what better way to do it than to participate in a little um, city tour. And as I mentioned, not all of them are bad. Let's see uh, what exactly we get on into here on our city tour. Wow, look at this. A lot of um, like cannabis shops popping up, bars left and right. Over here you got the Taco Bell, massage parlors. So this is actually the streets over uh, Khao San Road and I re definitely recommend it if you want to come by and have a dinner, listen to some live music. Great place for that. Okay, I don't know exactly how far the standing Buddha is, but I'll see you guys once, once we make it up there, or at least close by. Oh, it's nice and shady down the streets. Yeah, you see a lot of backpackers walking around with their backpacks. Reminds me of the good old days. 
when I first came to Bangkok. But nowadays, man, I'm constantly rolling around with a big suitcase and it's actually a lot more enjoyable when you're walking around this incredibly hot climate. Like having a big backpack on you, man, it gets, it gets stressful and hard every once in a while. You get all sweaty. So it's nice having a suitcase now. But yeah, look, along these shops, you can also find a lot of places to book tours, flights, ferries, things like that. But I personally always recommend just going to 12goasia.com. And on there, you can, you know, purchase all your ferry tickets, train tickets, without all the, you know, big uh, price markups that you find on the side of the street. You also find a lot of great street food around here. Who knows, maybe I'll film a little street food video for you guys later on. I know you guys always enjoy those videos. But yeah, see you guys here shortly at the Standing Buddha. Huh? You want 30 minutes? Yeah, 30 minutes? 30? Big Buddha, Lucky Buddha, and Kapen. Big Buddha, Lucky Buddha? And Kapen. Okay, so let's do one hour then. How much is one hour? Same price? All 200. 200 baht for one, for one hour. Okay. One, 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 one hour? Let's do the one hour. Yeah, why not? One hour is more fun, right? Okay, sounds good. Okay, sounds good. So we're gonna do one hour for 200 baht instead. I think that's better anyway. This looks like the right way to spend the hottest time of the day in the back of a tuk-tuk. I don't feel like doing a whole lot of walking, just some sightseeing. Where are you from, sir? You're from Bangkok? Oh, Thai. Oh, Thai. Oh, that's in the north of Thailand. Near yeah, Isan? Yeah, Isan. Isan. Oh, very nice. Okay. Where have you been in Thailand? I've been to Chiang Rai, Chiang Mai, Phuket, uh, Bangkok, Pattaya. And what happened? What do you stay? How many days in Bangkok? Um, I don't know. First day. Uh, maybe only five days. Maybe five days, yeah. But it's my first day in Bangkok. Thank you, cup and cup. Oh, that's the standing Buddha? You wait for me here. Okay. How many minutes? Okay, thank you. Cup and cup. Oh, nice. We made it to the Standing Buddha. Okay, so this guy here, he seems like, you know, like one of those very honest Tuk Tuk drivers that I was telling you about. And um, they started the price at 100, but let's be honest, guys, nothing costs 100 um, on a Tuk Tuk. I don't care how many of you guys tell me it does. It, it might for locals, but. Hello, sir, how are you? Hi. 40. 40 bots. Yeah. Okay. For the tourist tickets. You have change for 100? Cup and cup. Cup and cup. I speak Thai very well. Sawadee cup. Yeah. Cup and cup. <laughs> All right. So 40 uh, baht to enter this temple with the standing Buddha. Now, I actually did this exact tour with my mom when she came to Bangkok. Um, so after I had met the Tik Tok driver the first time who brought me to all of these locations, I ended up just taking his number from me and you know he made me laugh the entire time so I didn't really take it as like okay this guy um, really up tried, tried to upsell me um, and after that he gave me you know pretty good prices for tuk tuk rides all around the city always charging me between 250 and 300 which is totally reasonable especially as a tourist but yeah not only do you get to you know drive around to different temples but you get to see different parts of the city that you probably wouldn't have saw if you just order a grab and you know put the gps location to set somewhere so we'll see exactly how this whole city tour uh turns out maybe the whole taking you to suit shops and all that isn't a thing anymore i'm not sure we'll find out though okay wow this is beautiful I love temples in Thailand. They're always all so different, so unique. There's the standing Buddha. Wow, it is beautiful. 
so this is what I'm saying guys it's awesome they bring you to you know several temples and show you some iconic sites in the city that all in all if they actually charge you the price that you agree on it's very well worth it here we go the big standing Buddha wow that is beautiful only in Thailand do you see stuff like this this is incredible isn't it what a beautiful Buddha image here in Bangkok okay well I'm gonna spend a few minutes here walking around take a couple pictures and then we'll jump back into the tuk-tuk and see where we head off to next last time if I remember clearly we went to a suit shop after leaving this spot we'll see if um, that happens or if we actually go to other locations to be honest I don't know um, my guy seems like very friendly and I'm, I might be falling into the trap myself but yeah I, I don't think he's actually gonna take me anywhere but we'll see maybe they're just that good huh but yeah one last look of the Buddha image all right see you guys in a second so long to the temple definitely a nice first stop but yeah it's too hot to actually fully walk around that thing right now time to jump back into the tuk-tuk oh right, here's my driver right here smoking a cigarette that one's very beautiful this is the standing buddha okay big lucky buddha okay and, and after on the way to the you want to see the palace the grand palace only on the outside right you go inside no i don't want to go inside today okay. please please and allow yeah <coughs> okay for 200 right yes okay let's do it after after lucky buddha i show you the thai center the thai center because today i have free gasoline oh you get free gasoline uh, when i take you there you have a look inside for me five minutes okay let's go thank you what's your name my name's chris my name's som som nice to meet you some how's business very slow many tourists it looks like many tourists today for good luck yeah today i bring you good luck are you going to so right now we go to temple first or to thai center temple temple okay doesn't matter how many Oh, this is the temple? What's the name of this one? Lucky Buddha. The Lucky Buddha Temple. Is this the most famous temple in Thailand? Okay. Oh yeah, it looks beautiful. I've never been here before. This is the king. Oh, after we come to the sitting Buddha. Okay. This one, the sleeping. The the sleeping Buddha. Oh yeah. I show you the sitting. The sitting Buddha first. Okay. Go inside. Okay. And you shoot there. Okay. Leave my shoes out here. Awesome. Thank you. Wow, that is a beautiful Buddha. So there's always some things to keep in mind. Whenever you're at Buddha, you never turn your back to Buddha, and you can never sit with your feet facing Buddha. 
So just some things to keep in mind if you're ever venter entering a temple. And of course, ladies, always be respectful, men too, about what you're wearing. Cover your shoulders, cover your knees. Whether you believe in the religion or not, you're in somebody else's home and place of worship. So, yeah, beautiful, right? So yeah, guys, I don't know. So far, I'm enjoying this trip. It's super enjoyable. He's already been very straightforward. That's uh, we're going to go to a little center afterwards where he gets a fuel coupon. The last guy actually told me that as well. So who knows? Maybe. Yeah. Everything's going to be, you know, honest and smooth sailing. But yeah, what a beautiful temple, huh? What was that? I'm sorry. Hand Buddha carry ammo. You see? Oh, yeah, yeah, Buddha, yeah. You can go to the temple. You never see like this. I guarantee. Because Buddha tell you can see sitting, sitting, standing, reclining. But this Buddha... Like it, hand carry ammo. That so you'll thing, never see a Buddha yeah, like this yeah, anywhere in the world. This Buddha original lucky Buddha style. Some people they have no, they have just small one. So some people don't know, but it's the big one in Bangkok. So if you go to uh, Yudhaya, uh, Yudhaya is the capital of Thailand. Very big one, about fifty-nine meters. Fifty-nine in Ayutthaya. That, that temple they built up in Ayutthaya period. Wow. Ayutthaya period about one thousand years. So I recommend Bangkok so big, busy. You can see many Buddha, many temple, about 40 temple. But if you from Bangkok, Bangkok you take a train to Ayutthaya one hour. One hour in the morning to Ayutthaya, you see the old capital, you see the old temple. We get everything they got. But look for how they built about a thousand years ago. Wow. Construction building. Okay. I've been amazing who they build, how they can take something to the top. We got thousand years ago technology not like it. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. They, if we have money, we can build everything. Exactly. Amazing. I look up people big like a giant. Really? Yeah. You go to see. You go in the morning and evening. You can take a train back. Okay. Why go by train? Because from Bangkok to outside traffic jam. Okay. But take a train shoot like it. Take a bus traffic jam. Same from outside come to Bangkok about hundred kilometer. More busy. So you okay. take a train, shh, shh, like that, train better. Every train, uh, they part Ajutthaya, train from Bangkok to, to Park Ajutthaya, and then they go to the north, the north east, and the point. Okay. And say that would, some, some people, they don't know, they go by, by bus. By bus, about two hours, they got traffic jam. I am Thai people. I know about uh, everything, because I'm old and I've yeah. been young before. But anyway, okay. I know about tourism. Because okay. I used to work in immigration office. Okay, okay. <laughs> you well, thank you for sharing. Yes, thank you. You come from? America, California. From what city? Uh, Los Angeles. Oh, uh, if how that's great. A lot of Thai people. A lot of Thai, Thai people. Yes, uh, Thai restaurant, Thai people. Yeah. I have one Thai friend. He, he lived in uh, uh, San Diego. Oh, yeah, that's close San to me. San Diego, that he lived there. I think about 35 years. I'm now wow. 65 years. He lived there, he worked, he started, finished there and worked there. He had, uh, uh, he met it with American girl. She was nice and second black. Beautiful. She come, oh, she like a superstar. Yeah. What <laughs> part that do? And he had many American friends. Also, okay. I have a uh, friend from Mexico. Yeah, inside. many Mexican people. Come to my country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because he come big, my house here, he come here. And uh, uh, when he come back to Thailand, he like because I am make food, you know, I cook. So Thai food. people make he the like best food, huh? Yeah. When he come, he like he have a special whiskey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So good, you know. So good. Not often. About four or five years, he come one time. When he come, he not come alone. Come with big friend. Big nice. Come to uh, only uh, COVID, they cannot come. After COVID stop, they come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come to live here about uh, three weeks. Wow. And, and, and now they, they uh, this family come back again, but they they, uh, they just move from Bangkok five days ago, go to uh, the north. They yeah, go, to go visit other places not, not in China. Chiang Mai, they go to Lampang. Lampang. Lampang, you don't know. Chiang Mai, you know, but Lampang near the border, that, the land of elephant. Not nine, because uh, Lampang can say, if you check about Lampang, very old history. Uh -huh. They have a, a, a hot and big car, too, like this, you know, so cool. Okay. Lampang, and that's the area. They have different park and quiet, not busy. I'll have to uh, go one have, day. They have, they have resort there. Go to oh, okay. Stay that with a family and okay. friend. Cool. And after Bangkok, where are you going? 
Um, I don't know yet. I'm just why not? Because I I, I come to Thailand before like a few times, so I'm just seeing been, what what I want to do. Second, the third. Third time. Oh, thank you yeah. so much. Visit thank my you, country. thank you. Have you been to North Thailand? Yes. Oh. Chiang Rai, Chiang Mai, yes, and Pai. Have, have you been to South? Yes. Uh, Phuket, Phuket, Phuket Suratani, yeah, Suratani, Krabi. Kota. Kota. I recommend if you come back again. You go to the east of Thailand, go to Koh Samet, Koh Chang. Okay. Koh Samet, Koh Chang, the east, no tourist. Yeah, yeah, From yeah. Bangkok to Koh Chang to Tra, about four hours by car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Koh Chang so big, no tourist. You have to go so smart to go to relax. Okay. So when you go, you look many rooms, many night trips, air condition. You live here. I couldn't everything complete. If compared, that area will be less like a VIP room in Bangkok. Okay, uh, okay. Walk to the beach, sea view, so good. Got cool. Chang, got Chang, or got cement. But if talk famous one, got cool. Okay. Got cool, that a Christian. Or I'll have to go next time. Thank it's you. A, well, it's nice a, meeting you. And how do you get to this temple? How do you come? Here? Um, in a tuk tuk. How much do you pay him? Um, what's the normal price? How much? What's the price? Normally, if you say around by tuk tuk, about three hundred, four hundred baht. Say around many places. But if talk about this week, if you take tuk tuk now, uh, tuk tuk they can get a ticket or coupon gasoline, so cheap flight. How much he charge you? Um, two hundred baht. Two hundred baht all together. Yeah, all together. Not bad. Yeah. But because it's uh, good price. When you want to go, tell him, but you pay when finish. Because this week in Bangkok, because Bangkok Fashion Week, tuk tuk driver he can get free coupon gasoline from the factory. Have you been? You been here two, three times? Have you been? Uh, no, I haven't been to the factory. The, the factory, Thai factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They make tailor, they make Oh, so, okay. Cool. And this place, they make, they make so send to brand to Amani. Okay. And it's because Amani, more famous in Europe, in the world, Amani suit. Armani Thai. suit, okay. Buy suit, how much? 400, 500,000 baht. Importing how much transport. So this factory, the other bit in Thailand, they make, okay. they make, they make send to brand, many brand, cool. even Amani. So now they open for everyone, for everybody, free route of life. So if you took to take to it, take you there, you have look free, you not buy anything, but you ought to get coupon gasoline. But if you need tailors, custom, so test me hundred percent, make perfect fitting, your okay. style, your size, that's pretty so good. Okay. Buy up about four hundred, five hundred, six hundred uh, dollar for your money. and this plan they have free transport. Okay. So my friend, if one they come from California. They went there already. They make fitting. <laughs> okay, they, okay. They not they not pick it up. Make fin fitting already, and more. Oh, they are sent to San Diego. Okay. They have free time. Not carry because they have free transport. They are already. Cool. So this place, most of American people, they come to my country. Okay. They like to tell they make from here. Okay, okay. But not make in tourist area. Be careful. Silk Road, Sukhum Road, nearby here, Kausan Road, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. They have shop. So okay. They call you hello. Not make. They are fully tested. Okay. You can make hundred dollar one suit. They, they will test me, but not test me fully. Okay, tested. okay. Not, 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 uh, not make that area if you not with your and uh, to it area to look Thai people they will get shopping into it area. Okay. Only so the lot benefit they complain sometimes because after I can react. I know, I but know. But if you take you there, I don't know what you do. You work, you do suit or not? not okay. You wear suit. Or no, I don't wear suit. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you, sir. I, I'm gonna get going. I'm yes, gonna get. I'm gonna go to my TikTok. Your friend waiting, or sometimes you need. No, I got a TikTok waiting for me. So good. You make from them and leave at home. Okay. You do when you want. Okay, but okay, I don't, okay. maybe later. Maybe later. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Very nice Buddha. Oh man. Nice meeting you. All right, so after I walked in there, the Tuk Tuk driver actually sent in that guy. I saw it out the corner of my eye, and sure enough, he gave me a full long spiel and was trying to tell me that I should go to the factory and make a suit after this. So probably where we're gonna be heading afterwards, but first let me show you the Lion Buddha. Wow, this is beautiful, right? Definitely a unique temple, that's for sure. Let me take a picture with the phone. All right, and let's get out of here. So yeah, definitely um, everybody works together on this thing, but yeah, 
crazy, right? As I just got done saying that maybe this guy's gonna be honest, I saw this guy literally like kind of give the guy a shoe to go inside the temple to start talking to me. And yeah, sure enough, the dude spoke amazing English and was giving me the best rants. And to be honest, he seems like a very nice guy. Ready? Cup and cup. Where are we going? Oh, monkeys? Oh yeah, those are monkeys, huh? No. No. This, yeah. Oh, what is that? Uh, Fruits. Not fruit. Wow, it almost looked like a monkey. What is that? Yeah, I never seen that before. Oh, bees. <laughs> those are bees, huh? Dang, dude, it's it's like a big. I don't know what you call it. Not a herd. But a bunch of, of, of bees. Okay, we come inside? Let's go, let's go. Cup and cup. It's quite funny. I can actually see the old man that was inside of the temple, like looking through the pillars right now, seeing if I got back onto the tic tic. Man, it's crazy. They get quite, quite sneaky. All right. On to the next spot. Beautiful temple! Where are we going now? The Thai center. What's the Thai center? What's inside? Fashion shop. Fashion shop. Only looking for me five minutes. Five minutes looking. Okay. What do they sell inside? They sell shoes? Maybe shirt, shoes. Shirt, shoes. Okay. Stop the fashion center. He said, I only got to spend five minutes in there and then uh, they're going to give him like a gas coupon. So they give you gas coupon? Yes, sir. For how many liters? How many liters of gas do you get? One liter. One liter of gas. If I look, okay, couple cup. Sounds like a fair deal. You know what's funny? To be fair, whenever it's your first time in Thailand and you jump onto the back of one of these and you participate in this tour, it honestly feels like you know you're going so far around the city. But to be honest, we've been you know basically around the same like square mile of an area, so um, we haven't gone all that far. But they kind of just weave in and out all of the small streets, and it's still super enjoyable. But yeah, definitely when it's your first time here and you jump on the back of one of these, you're like, damn, I'm getting a good ass tour. But um, yeah, it's pretty much staying. We're pretty much staying around the same. market of the amulets are where they make like the, the whole uh, Buddha images and uh, the, one of the biggest flower markets in the world is here in this area yeah a lot of factories so I'm guessing this is why we're heading in this direction right now and yeah you also find like a bunch of trendy cafes and restaurants in between like all these old little like mechanic shops and traditional style clothing shops Oh, is this where we're coming? Yes. So take a look here. All right, let's come on inside. You can grab some water. Oh, you get a drink. Hello. Hello. Welcome, sir. Sawadee ka. Sorry, how are you? Good, good. How are you? Very good. Where are you from? The U.S., California. All right. Yeah, and you? Where are you from? I'm born in here, sir. Oh. Th huh? This is on? Yeah, I'm making a video. Ah, this is uh, no recording here, sir. No recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can well, take the photo, but mm, cannot record it. Well, what, what, what are you guys doing in here? We do selling suits. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. My tuk-tuk driver brought me here. I'm on a tour, so. Ah, okay. So please okay. can, can, uh. Yeah. Like, oh, it's off. Come have a look, show you the... So, okay, yeah. I'll follow you. So you guys sell shoes? Suits. 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 suits, yeah. It's here, it's up to you because we have here, it's uh, selling suits. If you like, you can buy. If you don't, no problem. Okay. But, any example, you like to be, you like to buy, but you don't like to carry around, so we can send it to your home as well. 
and you you send to United States. Yeah, this all my previous customers, sir. Okay. Okay, but um, how much are your suits, sir? It depends on the fabric. You okay, look at well, the I, I've never bought a suit before. You want to show me something? Yes, sir. Yeah, like this. Have a look which style you like. Well, I've never bought a suit before, so, so I don't you don't know. have any suits. I've never had a this suit. Is, this is like, how we made it here. Have a look. So what is that called? This is called the traditional suit. This is a suit, a three-piece suit. A three-piece suit. Yeah. And Mostly, how much does something like that cost? It depends which fabric you like to have. Oh, it. damn. I have a cashmere wool, merino wool, linen, silk. What's and this? Cotton. This cashmere wool, sir. It's a wrinkle-free. You can wear suits. You can sleep. You can party. Next day you wake up, look at the mirror, so it's not wrinkled. Really? Yeah. And how much is that? You want with Something the vest like or without the vest? When do you use a vest for? Like what do Wedding, you use a vest? Wedding, marriage, for parties, special occasions. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, no vest or or with the vest? With the vest? Yeah. With the vest is. Damn, bro, business must be doing good, huh? Look, you got that gold watch. Thank you, sir. 20500 So this is a jacket, pen, vest, shirt style. Oh, that's 600 US, huh? Yep. About 600 US. And here, okay. good thing is you can pay by Visa, Master, MX, no extra charge, no tax, nothing. Okay, okay. Cool. Okay, well, maybe later, bro. Maybe later. I'll no, keep no. you guys in mind. No, I'm on a city tour. Yeah. If you say yes, only take two minutes. So tomorrow I can give into the fitting, sir. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I'll see what I got going on tomorrow. No problem. Yeah. Okay. So that's like a six-piece suit. This is yeah, jacket, pen, shirt, vest, tie, and it's coming pocket square as well. So yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me think about it. All right. Thank you, bro. You will appreciate it. Thank you. Well, have a nice day. Okay. You too. You guys make all the suits in here? Yeah. So how long does it take from the beginning to the end to make a suit? Three days. So example, if you bought something today, if you don't like to carry it on, so tomorrow we can give you the fitting and then we shift it or someone pick it up later. Okay, okay. Okay, all right, thank you, bro. You're Appreciate welcome. it. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, Gabun Cup. Thank you. Now you want to see the boat or not? The which one? Boat, boat tour. Boat tour? How much is a boat tour? I show you one minute. Thank you, sir. Thank you. They have one hour, one and a half hour, or two hours. On the boat. Okay. Well, yeah, that was pretty pretty easy, right? We just walked in there, looked at some suits, talked for a little bit. Yeah, they were seemed a little bit sketch, but um, yeah, definitely not a place I would just walk into and buy a suit from. But yeah, who am I to judge? But hopefully the dude got his gas coupon. But yeah, that was pretty straightforward. I mean, I walked in there and walked out, and I agreed to do that. So yeah, so far everything everything good. That's for the boat tour? And come back. Okay, and how much is that? They have the, this one, 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 one hour, one and a half or two. You buy a ticket there. Oh, okay. And last, last stop, I pin you there. Okay, okay. No, no boat tour today. No boat tour today. Yeah. What now, else What else do you have? Now, come out and then come back. Yeah, around and come back, right? And um, you don't have any other tours? No tours, no girls, no girls tours. Okay. Like beautiful ladies. Watch up. Happy ending. Yeah, how much for a happy ending? Uh, many, many times. Superstar, young star. Oh, the ego. So depending on if they're young or more or old, the not, price change. Not same. The price not the same, huh? For yeah. old lady. And superstar. and superstar girl. What is it? Massage. Everything. Everything. Oh, 
full body massage. Everything. Turkish bath massage. Okay. I think What's the starting price? I think he start about four thousand. Four thousand. For one girl. For one girl. One hour. Up to you. Okay. 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 No. Let's do. Let's do the tour and come back. Cup and cup. I, I take your number. Maybe later I go. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Beautiful girls. Where's the girls? Sukhumvit? Silom? Pechaburi Road. Oh, Pechaburi Road. Okay. Not too far. Not too far. Ten minutes. Okay, okay. should be coming to an end but yeah along here you're gonna find all kinds of jewelry shops uh, tattoo shops this is actually where you can come and buy some wholesale jewelry if you're interested in that you can find like all kinds of piercings yeah jewelry I don't know what else to say about that but yeah a lot of um, wholesale shops here in this area you also find plenty of massage parlors a lot of really good food in the evenings it makes for a fun time Sir, we could go right here's okay. Okay. Cup and cup. Yeah, it's a little hot back here. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Cup and cup, sir. That was nice. Thank you. Cup and cup. Have a good day. All right, well, that was nice. And you guys saw how smooth that was. So yeah, he gave me the warning about the suit shop. I agreed to go. Um, had a little two hour trip or, or one hour trip around the city for 200 baht, not bad. And yeah, so I don't know how to feel about that. Don't know if that's really a, a big scam or not, but the other day, literally I was walking around and, excuse me, and people were offering me uh, 40 bot city tours so I know that there's still some bad people out there doing those tours but then there's also plenty of hard-working honest men just like him who you know they give you a tour around the city like I said tick tick tours are always a bit expensive but 200 bots yeah we did a couple laps around the same area 
it gives you the experience of riding around in a tuk-tuk, but generally speaking, I would say, you know, taking tuk-tuks is the most expensive way to get around anyway, and to be honest, the fastest way is by moto taxi or um, simply just taking the public transportation when available. But yeah, definitely a nice way to spend 200 baht and knock off an experience here in Thailand. So for now, guys, I think, well, that's gonna be the end of this one. I'm gonna put the camera down and I'll tune back in for another one. Maybe later on today here in a bit, maybe in the next few days. <laughs> later, guys. Hero.